who's your favorite obscure historical figure? Uh, my favorite his, uh, favorite obscure historical figure is a guy named Marmaduke Langdale. Um, Marmaduke Langdale was a, a commander during the English Civil Wars. Um, he was a royalist commander. Um, he also are how familiar how familiar are you with the English Civil War? I know it happened, and I know it was perfect. Involved. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, the big decisive battle in the English Civil War is the Battle of Marston Moor um, in 1644. Um, that's kind of where Oliver Cromwell becomes like, you know, the you know, real dominant force that he is. Um, after that battle, the Royalists in the North are pretty much crushed. Um, one of the only contingents of the Royalist army that survives is referred to as the Northern Horse, obviously mainly cavalry troopers, um, and they're under the command of Marmaduke Langdale. Um, I think he's an interesting fellow because he, you know, he fights through the war. He ends up escaping to the continent after things go south for the Royalists. Um, he ends up serving in several different um, Catholic militaries. Um, he ends up, I believe he converted to Catholicism officially. Um, a lot of those Royalists, you know, were kind of crypto Catholics back when you still had to technically be an Anglican. You couldn't tell anyone you were Catholic, really. Um, so yeah, interesting fellow. Uh, he, you know, he has kind of the things he's, well, relatively famous for, and then he has kind of a longer career. He ends up, um, you know, serving the Royal court in exile. Um, just a fascinating guy. Um, and he also, uh, he has, he had a reputation for being very, uh, very dour and straight laced. And when you see a picture of him, uh, you can, you can definitely get that vibe off of him. He's, he's a person whose appearance most definitely matches his personality. What's his name one more time? Uh, his name is Marmaduke, like the dog, uh, Langdale, L-A-N-G-D-A-L-E. He's a, he's a stern looking fellow. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and. I feel like before we uh, before we move on from this question, we should, uh, I think, in the tradition of the last time we asked this question, follow it up with, "Who is your favorite obscure historical fascist?" Not even be obscure, just your favorite historical fascist. Um, and no context. Just give us a soundbite that we can clip, and we'll move on. Uh, Gabriele D'Annunzio. Oh, I've never even heard of that one. I just like saying his name. I don't like him. I don't like his stuff as a person, I promise. Um, I just think he has a fun name. Um, but then again, a lot of those fascists are Italian, so all their names are kind of fun to say. Yeah, that's fair. Is, is that going to get me canceled? 